welcome back to my series on innumeracy. It's all about estimating quantities using reasonable numbers. You could end up with really big numbers, really small numbers, all depends on the situation. But most people don't have a very good grasp of big or small numbers. So early on in the book, the author talks about a consultant at MIT who would ask prospective employees in interviews, how long would it take to truck away the earth in a mountain like Mount Fuji? Now that doesn't seem like a very fair question to me. How, how are you supposed to estimate that in a short period of time? Unless you're in the excavating or trucking business, it seems like a tall order. But let's estimate what it would take to do that. So I've estimated the mountain to be a cone. Mount Fuji is about four kilometers high. And I'm going to estimate the radius to be about one kilometer. So the volume of the mountain, which is a cone, or pi r squared h divided by 3, where the pi and the 3 more or less cancel, is equal to, if you substitute those numbers, about 4 billion, or 4 times 10 to the 9 meters cubed. Because, of course, the kilometer is 1,000 meters. Now let's estimate the volume of the dump truck, length times width times height, to be maybe 4 times 3 times 3 meters, which is, what, 36 meters cubed. So the number of loads is the total volume divided by the volume of each truck. That's about 40 times 10 to the 8. 40 divided by 36 is about 1. So that would be about 10 to the 8 loads. And let's say they were constantly loading these trucks up. They're coming and going all the time. And you were able to fill one every half hour. That would be about, or would be 48 per day. So let's say 50 dump trucks or loads per day. So the time it would take would be the number of loads divided by the number per day. So that's like 100 times a million. 100 divided by 50 is 2, so it would be about 2 million days. And if you divide that by 365, you're going to get a little over 5,000 years. Unbelievable. I never thought it would take that long. But then I'm no engineer. What do you, what do you think it was going to be? Of course, check my calculations, taking into account the approximations, and you should get about that number. Now in the book, he actually happens to mention, without any calculations, five to 10,000 years. And uh, I came up with roughly the same answer. Of course, being off by a factor of two is no big deal in these kinds of questions. So you should also be able to do that with, the, with any reasonable approximations. Okay, see you next time. Bye-bye.